Okay, everybody, welcome back to another video. Now you can, or you can see today, we have something from Japan. Now this is supposed to be a Wonder Swan color, so no more talking. Let's just get into it. Now this is designed by Gunpei Akoi. Now <clears throat> he also designed um, one of the biggest consoles in history and one of uh, like one of the best-selling consoles in history and one of the uh, most failed consoles in history. So he also designed the game, the Nintendo Game Boy and the Nintendo Virtual Boy. And then, of course, he designed this. However, this is not a Nintendo console. It is made by Bandai, and it is really, and it was only ever released in Japan. Now, today I'm also going to be unboxing, even though it's not going to be in this video. Um, but I will also be making that video today. A game for the Sega Game Gear. And even though I don't have my Game Gear yet, I'm going to make take that um, video that I filmed today and put it all into one bigger video that's going to be my entire Game Gear unboxing and this is really hard to open let's see here maybe we cut through the box we did indeed so now we have a bunch of packaging material Japanese newspaper I might actually keep that because that's really neat. Everything's in Japanese. And, yeah. There it is. Let's grab our knife again. It's really hard to open. And there it is. So now there's even more packaging, just a little bit, some cellophane. And our console is unboxed. Now, this should have come with a game, and it did Final Fantasy 2. So let's actually take a look at the console real quick. So as you can see on the front, it has two D-pads. Now that is so that you can play your games like this, or you can play them like this. Then you've also got your power button down here, your start button, and your sound button, because this doesn't actually have a sound slider. So now, let's actually open up the battery tray, which there's a little button there. And you'll see the battery actually fits in this, instead of being in the console. So let me go grab a battery. Um, I had a battery here somewhere for it. Is it... It might actually be up here and I cannot find the battery um there it is I found it found it we're good all right so now let's take the battery holder and you just put it in like normal and then it slots into the console again like that and I don't think this console turns on without a game in it so let's go ahead and open up the game now this console also has it's manual. So here's a game. It's a Wonder Swan color game because there were the Wonder Swan and the Wonder Swan color. And then you've also got a little manual here, which obviously I can't read because it's all in Japanese. So let's try popping the game in. So it's like this, I think. Yep. And. That's weird. It's not turning on. So... Oh wait, there's a contrast slider. Maybe the contrast is weird? Um... Nope. Wait. I see lines on the screen. Maybe the cartridge just isn't making good contact. Hmm. Let me try. Here, I'm going to stop recording, and if I can get it to work, I'll be back. Alright guys, so I got it to work. Now also, um, if you hold down the start button on power up, you can actually, um, you can actually, like, enter information if you hold down the start button on power up. So you can see here, 
it has someone else's information already in it, so I guess I won't show it. But you can put in your information here, and um, it'll show your name on startup. So that's neat. So then you can turn it off and boot it up. It like doesn't start up on camera. I just had it running. It's like it, and it started up just fine when I wasn't on camera. So it's like just when it's on camera that it doesn't want to start. That's great. Okay, guys. So here it is. I have a light here so you guys can see the screen. You might not actually be able to see that, but it is on and it is working. But you can see there, Final Fantasy 2. That actually is in English so far. So, yep. That is the Wonder Swan Color unboxing. And then you can just press power. Shuts off. You can pop out your cartridge. So it was a competitor of sorts to the Nintendo Game Boy. Um, there might be more videos on it in the future if I ever get any more games for it. Because I don't think I'm going to be doing gameplay of Final Fantasy since the actual gameplay is in Japanese. But anyway guys, I hope you enjoyed this video, taking a really quick look at a Japanese console, the Wonder Swan Color. Anyway guys, if you liked it, please leave a like and subscribe to the channel. And if this is the first video you've seen by me, go check out all my other awesome videos. Anyway guys, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed the Game Gear unboxing when it comes, and I'll see you in the next one.